Hey everybody, it's Jack and Dan. Hey, we got some new plants for Jack's bridge tanks. Let's check them out. All right, let's get the whole guy in here. So we did a follow up here after moving some things around and everything seems to be doing pretty good. But that Selvinia just, just didn't do well. These guys, they just kept eating it, right, dude? Yeah. They just kept picking on it. These guys are just, they're total little spazzes, man. They really are. They just, they're never stop. They're always moving around. They're always picking at the surface. So we got all the Selvinia out of here, which wasn't incredibly easy, but we moved it over to the beta tank. We'll be doing a video on that coming up here, probably next in a few days or so. What we did is we decided to put some pot plants in here, these little floating um, water lettuce kind of deals. And they, were, they weren't in the best of shape when we first put them in here, but they're starting to actually reproduce and stuff now. One of the things we did, we found some little grow lights here over on Amazon. And so we replaced the, just the regular LED kind of bulbs with these and they got really good reviews and everything and they were, weren't that expensive. So we think that it helped because this guy is doing a lot better and started, you can see like new leaves coming out of the middle there a little bit there and reproducing and the roots seem to be doing pretty good. Now these guys do pick at the roots a little bit, but not much, right? Yeah, no, they're pretty cool. And these roots are a little tougher. So they're, they're it's nice when you, you don't have fish that mess with stuff. Like yeah, well, that's the thing. You want a cool, active fish, but you don't want them to mess with things. Um, these swords still are doing okay. They're hanging in there, but yeah, we'll see what happens with them. Again, we're not really super concerned if they don't make it. These guys seem to be doing pretty good. You can see this this one, uh, this one middle root kind of got a little longer since it's been in here. So we think it's doing pretty good. That, of course, is the crossover. Uh, hang on the back that goes over here to the third tank and then sucks the water through the two bridge systems and sees you're doing pretty good we put four little small water lettuce things in this one and again they weren't doing that good but now it seems like they're doing a little better start to see a little more growing in the middle um some of these ends i, I think they just weren't getting enough light so we're hoping that this light saves them if it doesn't of course we just get some more they're relatively inexpensive it is kind of like pond season and everybody has them right now and we got, I think, um, three for 10 bucks or something at uh, Best of Pets there where we go. So that was pretty cool. The big old ball of moss in the middle seems to be doing really good. And so, you know, they're not really messing with that. The tanks are staying real clean. The uh, whisper filter we put on here is doing pretty good. And I think we have, so we have like these two connected on one line and then like these two. So we just have to adjust a little. Sometimes it goes to like one more than the other. We got to look a little valve on there. So kind of play with that once in a while. But overall, they're still working really good and putting out good uh, that we put on there a few weeks ago. And um, we did decide to put this one back on here because even with the better flow and everything, um, we still, we're getting a little protein buildup in here. And again, this one was in really sad shape, but seems to be doing pretty good. This doesn't seem to mess with it too much. Um, so yeah, so there's the new plants and there's how everything's going. Put this guy back on here. Oh, we found this. This is kind of a neat little thing. Where we get this to Grand Canyon, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. When we went to the Grand Canyon a few years it's ago for like, Christmas. It's like sand, like dyed sand. And it's, it's yeah. really cool. They like Isn't it cool? It. It's an upside down glass. Got it at a Native American reservation. And they put the sand in here. And then they uh, put concrete on it to seal it and felt. And they had hundreds and hundreds of these. Anyway, it was sitting in like our fish tank closet. We moved it, we forgot about it. And uh, isn't that amazing? So it's like, you know, sky and clouds at the top. And then, you know, um, like a, like a, what is it supposed to be? Like the Sedona area or something? I think so, yeah. It looks really neat. Yeah, like it doesn't look Nevada, like Nevada, Arizona, it something like, like that. Like it's incredible art, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, I forgot how much I paid for it. I think it was only 10 or 20 bucks and got it as a uh, little thing. And that's going to be, we like to put little weights on top of these. We've talked about it before. It cuts down on vibration. And, yeah, it kind of rattles. So. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes more than others, but not much. This one seems to, it's just older, but uh, probably get a new, uh, new uh, impeller or something. We just haven't bothered because it's not, you know, loud enough to where it bugs you or anything. So anyway, and we did add a couple of little suction cups on here that we just had on this line just to kind of neaten it up and tuck it up to the side. So that's the one that goes down. You can see there it goes down and we have a little kind of pre-filter screen on it and goes up, goes over. So anyway, 
these guys are doing great. We are going to start working on their um, nursery tank, right? We got a yeah. tank in the front there. We're going to start finally working on that, hopefully before summer starts. That's the infinity tank we're thinking of making, yeah. right? Yeah. Think of making an infinity tank for these guys so they can reproduce and the babies will be saved. We have saved some babies and things, but, you know, they're getting to the age where they're going to really start reproducing a lot. Uh, I think that this couple here, there's a, one in there. I think they actually have babies in there right now. So we're probably going to get to where we just take a couple at a time and put them in that. Yeah, he just chased that one out of there. He's like, stay away from my house, bro. So that, I think, is the mom in there. And then that's the uh, dad. But... Um, <clears throat> We're gonna we're gonna make them specifically a nursery tank so we can kind of group them up together and stuff. Yeah, you can see this guy. See, he's picking at it a little bit. Man, what's here? And they kind of take little bites of these little feathery kind of edges, but not like the big parts. But then they keep them clean too. So anyway, we'll see how they go. They're not super expensive. If they don't work out, we'll try something else. But it seems like the new lights are working. Seems like everything's going cool with it. We just want to do a quick update just to kind of show people what was happening over here, and. Uh, Hopefully they take off and hopefully they do well. And if they do better, like this one's really doing good down here. If they do better in one tank, we'll just put them in one tank. It doesn't really matter to us which one they're in. They're still going to filter the water just as much, you know, because yeah. it's all one system. So, but it would look nice. Um, we'd like to especially have them on the ends. Um, the other thing is we can add another light. This is a track lighting system. We can buy another light for about seven bucks, pop it in there. And put two lights over here yeah we also extended the uh, time that the lights were on um so to give them more light so we'll kind of see how that all goes super cool what do you like you, you like it man yeah i like it. they're kind of like the coolest looking type of pond floating plant i think, I think yeah. they, look, they look neat yeah and they, they look do pretty well yeah they look cool and they're easy you yeah, know you don't know uh, yeah they're pretty hardy like i said these guys this one was getting picked at quite a bit but it seems like now the other thing so We've also been feeding them a little bit more. I'm trying to feed twice a day in this tank, in this whole system, because it seems that these guys just have a voracious appetite. So we got a nursery we're going to be starting for them. We got them some new plants. Everything's looking clean and awesome. The new pump's working awesome. And everything's staying great. No water changes or anything. Hopefully we can keep some sort of plant like this in here. And uh, we'll see how things continue to go. So awesome, guys. Stay tuned. We're gonna. We're actually the next video coming up. We're gonna show you the Salvinia that we put over to the uh, princess tank, right? Yeah. So that won't be coming up soon. See you next time. Bye bye.